Hey, 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 what's going on, folks? Welcome back to the neighborhood. I am John, your favorite neighbor kid, and I'm coming back again to play a little bit more Starbound Fracking Universe today. Uh, last time we left off, um, we were doing a bunch of construction on our uh, mining base on, a mount on our mountainous planet. Um, we're actually going to take just a quick detour here. Um, I've realized that I need to make a bunch more of these. Um, and thankfully, it won't take too long because uh, we've got our, our, our quick, uh, our instant crafting uh, function enabled, or mod enabled, uh, which was a, it was a solid idea, it was a solid idea, I will absolutely admit, um, let's see here, let's make 50, have 50 total, rather, close these doors, man, talk about a draft, am I right, am I right, now, here's the real question for you, no, I'm not, okay, I was going to say, am I on admin mode right now? Occasionally, I'll do that for construction or, you know, uh, between videos kind of thing. Um, but let's head back up right now. I actually might start doing that again, uh, admin, during construction stuff. Um, you know, no better time to start. Uh, as long as I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to game materials too much. You know, I don't want to cheat materials or uh, cheese materials, however you want to call it. I don't want to create stuff for free for the most part unless it's like really just stuff that i could could easily get and probably should just get via uh, uh cheesing the system um using cheat menu kind of stuff um that's <laughs> like like all that tungsten i had to find the couple episodes ago last episode whenever <laughs> it was just a mess that was an absolute mess all right let's see here what i want to do and what I want to do is I want to today start with a little bit. Oh, I gotta rearrange some stuff here. Um, can I get things in the right uh, placement-ish? Um, I want to start putting things into uh, uh, where I want them to be in our in our actual facility, and that and that way we'll we'll kind of frame out where we want how much room we need for um building in the background and such or or what have you and we can go from there um let's see here uh, i do want to give a shout out to everyone everyone who's stuck with me for this long everyone who's new to the channel and has been binge binge watching i uh, i really appreciate having you guys by i really uh appreciate having everyone behind me like that that's it's, it's it's good to have a push like that it really is it's uh it bolsters Builds you up quite a bit, and I really like it. Thank you uh, so much for that. All right, let's take a look at what we need to build here. We need to build rock breakers. I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking about four uh, for each section, uh, four in mind for each section anyway, and with a good uh, space or two between them and on either side, I think. So, um, let's see here. And these are the same size, right? All right, so we've got we've got basic sizing for that. Let's go ahead and do this thing right here. No, nope, we need more space than that. It's basically the same spot, isn't it? Because I've made it wider. Yeah. I don't really want to have... Th we can do just two, then. Just like that. Or we can move things over. Yeah, let's do that. Let's say... Hey, we're going to move stuff over. Just a little bit. Make a little bit more room here. And that is... Is that enough clearance top to bottom? It will be once we move it over. And in fact... Let's go ahead... We're gonna move everything over by at least one. At this rate. 
Uh, no, we're good there. Man, what is it with me and stairs? I just, I can't do it. I, like, I, I don't know how it happens. But I just can't, the, it's, it's me and my mouse. I just user error straight up, but clearly it is the mouse's fault. Um, all right, so a one to the side like that and like that. So we're good there and we've got clearance on the bottom. Excellent. So that should help spacing. And I kind of want to decide how. Me. See how that looks position wise. So you might even be able to get away with doing having that. Yeah. Let's do that. That's that feels right to me. And and then we'll get, you know, we'll get two more. Um, and this is not gonna be clear it's not gonna be the stairwell um, style that we'll use. We'll use the uh, the the actual platforms, these guys right here and build up that way but uh let's build the template i think for how we want the background to look for right now and let's get some lights in here so we can all see what's going on get some bright old lights and then i think i think it's because i, I want to template this i want to space it at least at least um i think three between so we can have like kind of uh, support dividers that kind of thing um and then we'll have four in each section so this is gonna have to go deeper which is what i had planned on doing and i was even planning on having um uh drilling even deeper into the wall here and we could actually have it be uh not only ore processing but partially mining facility we'll we'll see about that either aesthetic or or uh for real, you know, we, we can find like a drill bot sort of thing that we can take somewhere. I don't know. We'll figure that part out. Um, so we got, let's do some ceiling lights, I think. For right now. Just to really get a good, bright uh, frame of how things are going here. All right, so we got three in between and then three in size. Is that four? That's four. And then one right there and there. And then I can't do proper spacing, of course, at the moment, because I don't have anything to properly space it. All right, so it could still go there, but like I said, I want to have two in one to the side oh that's perfect actually that's ex the exact size we need it to be so let's go ahead use the wrong tool and it's three by three good that is perfect for us as well now really when it comes down to it i just hope i have enough um <laughs> enough of the uh the plasteel girders to create flooring all the way um we might have I might change it up to kind of fit the background because if I'm gonna have support um, beams running in the background here, change the floor a little bit. I don't know. We'll we'll see. We shall find out for sure. Okay. Um, so we've got the sizing correct for that, and then of course we want our extractors as well. Extractors are slightly smaller, but I will have them occupy roughly the same space. Extractors are super weird, though, because you can have them on the ceiling. Wait, have, have extractors changed? Yeah. Yeah, what the hell? Okay. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, the, the little light is supposed to be at the top, but, like, here, because you can't put it down. I don't know. That's, <laughs> that's interesting. And we might be able to... We might just utilize the property of extractors here um, to actually have some hanging from the ceiling. I don't know. Maybe. Could be crazy. I do like the fact that they do, uh, they can hang on the ceiling. That is, that is pretty nice, even though I've never, I don't think I've ever really used that property. But like I was saying, we will use the, the kind of spacing we'll do like this. We'll have one to the edge, but two to the, the stairway, and then two between. Uh, but we'll build with that idea in mind. Um, 
And before I get too far ahead of myself, let us think about how we want the templating to go. For the, uh, for the background for the stairs, let's kind of kind of test the, uh... I think that would be pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Let's, um... We've got our piping there. I want to... Slope metal pipe. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, get some... Get, get up uh, an easy placeholder that I can see behind because I want to build to um, connect all the uh, the machines together as well and so this piping is gonna go we can actually do that right now and just extend the damn it Extend these pipes out. Drop that. Oh, it's gonna be easier to do this in large bits. Good. Alright, let's try that. Again. There we go. And then this can have extended out to there. And we wanna have Try that. Cannot see the background, and that makes for lots of problems, I think. Um, I'm going to try this, though. No, oh, I want it lower. There we go. Let's have it go to the center where it is that and take that bad boy out. And let's see how it kind of just looks looks when we put it together. It looks okay. All right, I think, and then we'll um, for this it goes along the side, and it's up by. Is that high enough up? Oh, you can't even tell. We want it to connect down a little bit lower than that. Nope. Nope. We were fine. We were fine the way it was. So let's go like that. Let's... to do that. Oh, I'm, muck I'm mucking this all up. Definitely. Actually, I kind of like this idea of having it look like two bits are coming through and it's one's going to one and then the other. I wonder if we can have the same effect. Of 
So I want to have it go to the center of each one. Let's see. Let's try this out. Yeah, it looks fine. But let's try, let's see how it looks when we have that in place. No, that looks weird. It's a bit strange, actually. Let's try this. Let's see if we can do an angle. And, nope, nope. could also make it really obvious that we're connecting one and another. even go as far as to go like this. This is all just really not completely necessary at all, but maybe perhaps it is. I think that having a clear Clear delineation here might work in our favor. You know what? I'm just gonna save the time and just say we're gonna go with how we how we've got it set up, just like this over here and up there. That's a little bit too far. I'm wasting a little bit of pipe, maybe, but that's okay. Um, so we got that set up. Let's just go ahead and go like that as well. There we go. Yeah, so that's going to be the, the piping setup for the background. And we will get that figured out from here. Let us go ahead and frame things out now. Decide how we're going to do this. The background, I think we will stick to either the, uh, the outpost thick wall or something of the like. But maybe I want something a little bit more... Um, appropriate for our platform. Let's let's try see how this looks. The nice part about these the nice part about putting a background in like that means that it uh, framed out how exactly how we wanted to exactly how far we wanted things to go to be placed rather. There we go. Got our platforms like that. Background just like that. We can do, um, let's see. Some sort of rail situation for the background. Um, wired support, that's right. Hmm. 
Composite rail. For a railing. We'll do it like that for right now, because we can't we won't be able to put it behind the uh things anyway. Um and then let's see for the side of the stairwell. I suppose we could do j just do ship support. In fact, because uh, uh, for the inside of the stairwell anyway, we'll do, or for the outside of the stairwell, we'll do ship support because I'm going to do at least one half of the support beam thing like this, probably. Good, good. Now, whether or not I'm going to do support beam like that over here, I don't know. Not sure. Who knows? Um, let me see. Something, Maybe something that I haven't used uh, really all that much because I don't have that much. Outpost concrete. Let's try that, maybe. Could be good. I will... Oh, I know what I'll do. Um, that... That wired support. Let's go... Let's see, that might look funky. That's gonna look... That's gonna look a little funky, I think. I need something that won't... That has the same look on the on either side of the piping here. Uh, Plasteel tech panel, maybe. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, interesting. That's interesting. I don't think that everything is properly placed on this side. Oh, I moved everything over by one, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Damn it. But everything was fine over here. So. We'll go ahead and... Just kind of nudge things around a little bit. Slope metal pipe, put that together. See if I can get away with this. Um, no, this isn't going to happen the way I want it to, I don't think. Let's try anyway. Okay, it, yeah, it'll work just fine. Never mind, we're good. Yeah, this is this is this is this is where it gets like the design part gets a little complicated when I'm trying to add like weird extra stuff. Seems to be going okay right now though. Um, let's see, what do we I want to have for support on the inside? Dark metal support. I might be able to get away with using that. Actually, yes, I think that that is exactly what I want. That's exactly what I want. Just like that, and then the outpost. Outpost thick wall. You can use reinforced girder. Kind of want to see what that looks like. Kind of want to see what that looks like with the actual stairs. We're going to use the actual platforms here. Let's put those down. Of 
Uh, it's going to pop. That's fine. part of the wall out okay okay so help us girder looks it looks okay you can't really tell just because the bright parts of it are behind the actual platform so that's we'll step back from that one Could use metal railing I don't think I will I think I'm gonna save the metal railing for You know, where we normally have it. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Goodness. Having the worst time right now. Now, unfortunately, my normal go-to for the background there is not going to have quite the same look, but maybe, maybe I don't actually care that much. There's a question of direction for sifters. Oh, we can push those back by one, at least. Yeah, but maybe I want to have the second level have a different kind of look to it. Who's to say? here. That's good, that's good. Actually, I think it looks reasonably okay. Maybe I want them facing the other direction, though. I don't know how much of an actual difference that'll make, but it might. No, well, not really. If we're gonna make it uniform, if we're gonna make it uniform, might as well do it. Fully. Um, now, of course, there's support. Um, I think I don't necessarily want to have the support beam for this side cross that, but maybe I do. I don't know. This is a tricky, tricky situation. And we'll still have a little background bleed there. Hmm. Tricky, tricky, tricky. All right, let's let's at least get our normal railing in. Not there. Down here, though. Yep. <laughs> it's gonna look super busy again. That's all right. It's all right. That's where we're at. We have not gotten a whole lot done in this episode, and I apologize for that. Um. Smooth metal plated. Good. Just like that. Just like that. Good. And... Wait. That's not the one I used. Is it titanium paneling? Nope. It's smooth metal. Smooth metal. That's what we used. That might make actually a little bit of a difference here. Oh, God. It'll actually be faster to cut everything out and just go back through. It's 
go back through and put everything back in. I could use these large metal pipes too. Could have been fun. Actually, what do they look like? End to end. So what? All right. And there we go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get back on track here. Let's... Of course, this section is going to look a little bit different from the other sections just because uh, I am... I have to compensate for the angles here. But now that I'm thinking about it, I might not even have to compensate right here because it looks like the uh, metal paneling, the... Uh, the smooth metal actually fits fine behind everything. Hopefully it doesn't cover up the... Damn it. I was going to say, hopefully it doesn't cover up the piping. There's like, there's some weird like priority sort of situation where, you know, the these angle panels, the gold, the gold paneling overlays these. Um, oh, these are the wrong ones. Probably not any different from the smooth metal. Yeah. So, like, the smooth metal is built over the piping, but not over the gold. I don't know. It's It lends itself to look a little weird at that point. It's kind of unfortunate. Now, it should be fine in any spots that... that uh, things aren't angled at. So if I make a point of changing up how, um, like if we switch right here, perfect, actually. Um, if we switch to something else for this section, it might look fine. In fact, I think it would be fine. But let me finish putting together this section down here. It's like that. And um, I'm going to have to change this side too. That'd be tough. All right, let's go. All right, all right, all right. Smooth metal. Right up to that. We got our support, or wired, or not wired support, but the, uh, last seal tech. Then we're gonna put our layer of piping back down. Right. That was, that's fine, right? Yeah, I think so. So we got that wired up. Ooh. That's interesting. Oh, that usually happens. The, the like the the end part of a pipe only shows up when you have it uh, running when there's nothing outside of it. Like if we put anything on the outside of that pipe, it will uncap it. Okay. Oh, I switched to the wrong thing. Again, this is a good time for, uh... You can't see it, but an admin. So now we don't have to worry about hunger. Okay. This is what I wanted to use there. Not there, though. And, nice part is we can have that go right into that. But we will have a similar problem there. Nuts. This is where we might have to change our design for the background area. The background, the paneling down here is fine because we don't have any angle parts. In the middle. Um, let's see if we can find something that doesn't cover up angle sections. 
I'll kind of experiment with this and see if I can find a material that 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 works for our situation between episodes. But, you know, this is a good place to break it off, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. <laughs> you know the drill, though. If you like me, if you like the channel, if you want to help out a little bit, do exactly what you're doing right now and watch. It's fantastic to have you here. I love playing games with you guys. You know, um, it's 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 a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. And uh, so thanks for coming by. Um, if you have any friends that you want to throw my way to, definitely tell them about me. You know, tell them about the channel. Uh, have them come my way. It's always good to have new people. Um... Also, it is YouTube, so uh, like, comment, subscribe. You know, if you have any tips, or tricks, or games you want to see me play, that sort of thing, uh, definitely drop me a line in the comments. Um, if you have, and if you do uh, subscribe, make sure you hit that little alarm bell if you want to receive updates. So if you want to see new posts that I make or new when I post new videos, that'll let you know. And last but not least, of course, if you have any money that's burning a hole in your pocket you want to get rid of desperately, you know, uh, that sort of thing, you can always uh, send me a tip. Uh, I know times are tight. I know not everybody can do this. I know not everybody wants to, and I do, you know, I appreciate it either way. Um, but you can send me a tip via coffee in the, uh, you can find the link in the description down below, or you can find the link on the main page as well. Um, and uh, when I get Patreon set up, you'll be able to find it in the same, uh, find a link in the same spots. So, uh, anyway, uh, with that, thank you for checking out the video. From my house to yours, I'm John the Neighbor Kid, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye now.